Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dan. I'm IT Explosive when the start of time, huh? <laughs> All right. So, TNT, yeah. I found this uh, Reddit thread, and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i start, and then whenever we tangent and go, it's fine. But I like this question. It says, what's the weirdest advice you've ever heard that is strangely effective? Oh, Jesus. So, man. the top comment is <laughs> to improve your posture... Pretend that you were shooting lasers out of your nipples and trying to shoot people in the head. <laughs> and I'm like, so if you think about it, you want to b- lift your lift your shoulders up so you're trying to shoot lasers. So you're basically trying to get headshots with laser nipples. And that oddly, I could see that. Like if you're standing up, that is how you're supposed to stand with correct posture. You're supposed to push your chest out. Okay. I, yeah, I never really concerned myself with posture. Yeah, me neither. Much, I, but... I do slouch, but I try to catch it. So here's a, here's another one. If you can't fight the fear, do it scared. That's a good one. That's yeah, good like, one. I don't know, man. Do you ever get so anxious when you try to do something that you can't do it? Oh, yeah, Jones, 100%. I'm not clutch. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from clutch, You man. come ac- across as very clutch. I mean, good. I, guess. You're like, you're <laughs> like, I don't want you to know I'm scared. I guess it's working. When you say that, if you're scared, go to church. That comes from her personal samples. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I'm the furthest thing from clutch. Oh, here's one. Here's one. I don't deal. I don't deal well with uh, adrenaline, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. Because okay. like, you know, once adrenaline hits my bloodstream, I'm not used to it. So it's like the first hit of adrenaline I've ever had. I feel like I've said this before. It's I think like, maybe we talked about this off, off, off podcast, but no, no, no. I, I, I feel you. Yeah. It's like an adrenaline just like it like tenses all your muscles. Man, oh, yeah, man. exactly. Well, it's that it's like that fight or flight. Like and, you know, I'm, I'm fairly chill most of the time about stuff i have a little like Bruh! but like when it comes to like most stuff i'm like i'm indifferent about a lot of things yeah that's one that's part of the reason why you talk about like wanting to skydive and stuff and i'm just like bruh i don't like going on <laughs> roller coasters i would die on the way down yo yeah like, like i don't like to, i don't like to get in the pool man Are you talking about <laughs> jumping off of something no yeah, i'm right. jumping out of a plane but like but also we talked about this yeah because like if you're if you are dealing with a person whether it's a friend a partner a family member and they trigger that um, that adrenaline response because they get you worked up yeah that's like yeah that's like not a good person if you're not a person who feeds on that adrenaline that's a bad person to be around because it puts you in an anti-comfort zone it yeah it definitely takes me out of my comfort zone but you know on the same note i wonder maybe there's benefits to having more adrenaline in my life you know i don't know are, are, are we supposed to be to the point where like adrenaline has like i wouldn't say adverse effects but like you know, maladaptive effects on you. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's like I, I experience adrenaline. It's like my body goes into almost into shock. Because <laughs> you try to keep it an even keel so much that when you get any spike in the meter, your yeah. like, body's like, red alert, red alert. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like how, how they say, like, uh, you're not a real man unless you're out here, like, hunting bear with your bare hands and stuff. Excuse I'm like, me? I've so, never hunted a what, bear. What's, what? that, what's that phrase? I've never heard that one. I don't know, dude. It's all over. You're not a real man unless you're hunting a bear with your bare hands. <laughs> it's all over the place. I like that. Dash, TNT Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> but you look at the people who, like, uh, who skateboard. That's that's a form of adrenaline. Like, snowboarders, skiers. Surfing. Yeah, all surfing. That. Like, hunting. Like, freaking. Uh, Boxers. The, Fighters. Exactly. Like, that's all adrenaline. That's 100% adrenaline. And it's like, I could never picture myself doing that because, like, I would just, like, I'd shut down. Yeah, well, you know, and you make a good point because I, I do want to skydive. I do talk about that. And and I don't know. I don't think that's the adrenaline I want from that because I don't want to bungee jump. I think it, I think it is, for me, I don't know what it is about Scott. Like, the idea of jumping out of the plane and hurling towards Earth just seems like it would be a crazy experience. And it's not about the adrenaline. It's yeah, more about it? just like... Is it like a spiritual thing for you? No, I'm not spiritual. But like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I think the free-falling effect would feel awesome. Okay. Like, because like, you know, if you like... Have you ever jumped off a diving board or something? No. Like, uh, no. It's... Never. You know, or you jump into jump into this pile of snow or, like, whatever. Like, when you're jumping and you fall into something, you're like, oh, that was fun. So imagine if you jumped and you fell for, like, four minutes before mm. you hit the ground. That mm. would be so cool, dude. Nah. Like, but, nah. but I also don't like... I don't like, you know, like, fighting. I don't... You know, it's like, sometimes, even when I start facing confrontation, 
and yeah. that adrenaline starts go, you know you can feel it like i feel you it makes me i'm not i'm not big on adrenaline either because i try to stay chill most of the time so it's like absolutely but yeah. i've definitely had people in my life that have been able to trigger my buttons and i don't like it yo because i'm like no. if you can bring that out in me i'm like no i don't like to get mad because i don't you know like i don't really see a whole lot to get mad about right and that's how i am too i i'm so indifferent and really don't give a crap about so much stuff mm-hmm that yeah. like, and that's what happens with a lot of people like times with like partners and stuff about the whole where do you want to eat thing i'm like <laughs> i really don't care like i really don't care where we go at all or like people be like what do you want to do honestly i don't care what what i do if, if i'm hanging out with good friends doing anything i don't care like if like you know P- couch man pete and his wife just want to say hey let's hang out i'm like i don't care what we do we could go to their house and sit we they can come here and sit we can go to the pool we can go to mcdonald's I just want to hang out with friends. Like I enjoy the experience with people. What we're doing is ne- not necessarily the catalyst. You know, you know what you do do though in these What's situations. It? I don't want to. I want to like. It's, Help it's, me, yo, dude. It's, 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 it. it's, it's very, it's very, very minor, but it is something that I know. Like we'll we'll go out and we'll be doing something, and then we'll be like, okay, now there's a series of options for us to do after oh no. this activity, and we'll be like, all right, we're just gonna go here and do this. And then you will come along with a separate option of something to do. <laughs> but on the same note, you're stating that you don't care what happens, yet you have just you've just given up this new option of something to happen. <laughs> it does do that. And then everybody will be like, oh, well, why the hell would you bring up a new option if you truly don't care? So obviously that's what you want to do. But so, yeah, most of the time I don't. I'm just a weird person. Why even bring up the option? I like being devil's advocate. Be like, yeah, we can do this thing. Even yep. today, we were supposed to record freaking, uh, what's the video? Telling we're, lies. We're supposed to record telling lies. And you were like, oh, you know, we could always just do some more podcasts. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess we're doing podcasts. Because I truly <laughs> don't care. So the last thing that comes out of your mouth, that's what we're going to do. Well, that was like that day I was like, you want to go get sushi? <laughs> and you were like, hey, whatever. And I was oh, like, are we going to go no. later or whatever? And you're like, okay. And then you come back. And I thought that you were cool with going oh, later. And I, you oh. thought we were going now. So, okay. No, but help. No, no, dude. <laughs> you just helped me become a better person. I'm not trying no, and to make I, you no, and I, I, no, I thank you. I 100%. Because honestly, the only reason I do those things is because, like, I like to give people options. Like, it's like, I like to be, like, devil's advocate. Like, hey, I know we said we'd be cool with going to get chicken, but, you know, we can get pizza too. Don't forget there's pizza out there. And that, or like, Hey, do you want to go get sushi now? Or you want to get sushi what later? That, what that does is that talks people out of the first choice <laughs> because they think that you have preference. Okay. That's right, what it, no, that's no, what it that, does. I have I have become a better person today. And I'm not even being facetious <laughs> this is about not therapy. This is not <laughs> Why, thank you, Dr. Dynamite. I appreciate it. Ooh, Dr. Dynamite. That sounds... Okay. No, but that, I get it. And, 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 and to your point, I really don't care. Because here's the thing. If, if I really want to do... I'd be like, hey... I'd rather go do this. What do you guys think about that? I have no problem being the person to be like, hey, I'd rather go bowling. How do you guys feel about bowling? But like, if, if usually if I'm just throwing something out, it's just like, I'm like, oh, maybe we didn't think we could do this. Or, you know, it's like, like we did like, like today with telling lies. It was like, oh, well, we're ahead on telling lies. We're not so much ahead on this. We could do this, but I don't care. Whichever one we sat down to do, I would have been fine. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, what? dude. It's cool. Yeah, okay, fine. I guess, man. But, right, and, and I know it doesn't make sense. I guess. In my if you, head, tell, if you tell me we're going to have spaghetti for freaking dinner, and my mind is already like, my mind of I don't care is like, all right, we're having spaghetti. <laughs> Jonas's mind is like, oh, you know what? There is this nice lasagna place. I don't care what we eat, but they do have lasagna here. Right. And then I'm like, oh, you must really want lasagna. Well, look, <laughs> I, don't really, give I don't, a, I don't give a fuck. Let's go get lasagna then. <laughs> wow, oh, we're getting dude. lasagna? And then you act surprised like, oh, we're getting lasagna now? <laughs> <laughs> lasagna wasn't even an option until you brought it up. So now, okay. why is lasagna a surprise? I have now realized where my where my <laughs> trying to be I don't know what is it, is very actually very confusing. To I people. mean, I I can see it from your point of view. <laughs> supplying options, some people like that idea because some people like to be in control. But yeah, well, and some people like they forget that like stuff. You know, like I've done that before. And people, no, I've honestly, I've honestly been like da 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 da. I've been like, oh dude, but you know, we could do that. And they're like, oh my god. God, I haven't done that forever. That's awesome. You know, it's like 
but I see how it can be very confusing because yeah. people think you want to do it when really I'm just I'm just I'm just the options guy, dude. I just like throw I'm just it. the options guy. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> the guy who the doesn't care guy. but yet throws out twenty options. Yeah, it's fine. You can be the options guy. I'm yeah, fine with I, but that. But no, I, but I but it's great to see how that can be perceived, be perceived on the other side. It's like it makes it makes a, a lot of sense too. Like I see that perspective now. Now people are like, oh, this dude really wants lasagna, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about lasagna. Like. <laughs> Then why even bring up Because <laughs> I'm weird. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, we out.